Welcome to another video. This problem has given me a lot of problems, but now I'm going to put it to rest because I'm here to correct all the mistakes I made in the past. <laughs> the first time I solved this equation for negative values of x, I made certain assumptions that I did not say clearly, and then I made a claim which violated every law that I know when it comes to solving equations. So in this video, I'm going to clarify everything I was thinking and the things that I said that were inaccurate, and we're going to get all possible solutions. Let's get into the video. So the first clarification I want to make is that it is possible for you to find the x root of x being equal to 4, and there is a real solution if you're looking for values of x that are negative. However, we have a lot of restrictions, which were the things I had assumed in my mind when I started solving this. The first assumption is that, or restriction I created, is that it is impossible for x to be an odd number. Because remember, when you take the odd root of a negative number, it is always a negative number. And because this is not a negative number, x cannot be odd. That was my subconscious assumption. <laughs> okay, so and it doesn't matter what you do, you will never get a negative here if x is the x root of, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, if it is the odd root of any negative number will always be negative. The fact that this is not negative tells you that x cannot be an odd number. It has to be an even number. So this is a good example. And I know this was one of the examples that were given as a counterexample to my claim that you can get any real solution. Yes, this is true when you're taking an odd root. But notice that because this is a negative number, your answer has got to be negative. However, we have a positive number on the right hand side. That means that this cannot be an odd number. It has got to be an even number if it exists at all. Okay, now if it were odd, yeah, we will get a number. For example, if this was negative 3, the cube root of negative 3 does exist. However, it is not a positive number. It is a negative number. So in order to obtain a positive number, we have to be dealing with even numbers. Okay, so if we rewrite this expression as x, the x root of x, if we write it as x to the 1 over x from our laws of exponents, we know that it's equal to 4. Okay, however, the problem with even roots is that you cannot take the even root of a negative number. Do you see that? We're not going to get real solutions. In order for you to get a real solution, for example, notice that the square root of negative 2 is not real. Okay? We know the fourth root of negative 4 is not real. Okay? In order to obtain a real root, the exponent here, 1 over x, must be an integer. So the only way you'll be able to get a real root is if this exponent, instead of it being a root, is actually a power. So if this is an integer exponent, then we can be thinking of getting a real number coming out of this expression. Remember, x is a negative number, so an integer representing the reciprocal of x would be a negative integer. So we can say, let, since x is less than 0, 1 over x will be some negative integer. We can use k, actually, but I want to use n, where n is some integer, okay? Like that. So n is some integer, some positive integer, so the negatives don't cancel. That's why I specified 
that n is a positive integer. Okay, so 1 over x is negative n. It means we can go back and rewrite this equation. So, x to the 1 over x equals 4 becomes, well, we said x is a negative number. We're going to have, if 1 over x is equal to negative n, then it means x will be 1 over negative n. So this is 1 over negative n raised to power 1 over x, which is going to be negative n, ha, huh, equals 4. So now this is the equation we need to solve and we'll be able to find the value of n. So here, how do we solve it? In order to get rid of this negative exponent, you can flip what is inside here. So I can actually flip this. So I have negative n to the n is equal to 4. But as you can see from just basic algebraic manipulation, you can rewrite 4 as negative 2 raised to power 2. So clearly our n is 2. Clearly n is equal to 2. If n equals 2, we can find our x. Therefore, x will be equal to, what did we say? x equal to ta -da 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 -da, negative 1 over negative n. Okay, so x equals 1 over negative n, which is 1 over negative 2. Huh. So x equals negative 1 half is the only real solution. Okay, now this was what I was trying to explain in the other video. Now, how do you get all the complex solutions? Well, all the complex solutions will come from the formula I got from when we were dealing with the positive ones. It's just that instead of having x, you'll be having negative x in your answer. Okay, so um, from, let me put it this way, from previous uh, video, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. This is a lesson, right? From previous video, um, we know that all complex roots are x sub k, where k is any integer which determine or which are denote the branch of the Lambert W function that you're using to compute your, your answer, which is going to be equal to um, the Lambert using whatever branch of, I think it was um, natural log of 1 over 4. Yes, divided by 1 over 4 divided by ln of 1 over 4. So this was the answer that we had, the w of ln of 1 over 4 over ln of 1 over 4. Now, if what you're dealing with is for this number, if x is negative, you just have to put a negative here and put a negative here, or just put a negative here and put a negative inside. And for x less than 0, it's this exact same process. I'm just putting a negative beside x in my derivation. So it's going to be x sub k for negative is going to be equal to minus the w minus natural log of 1 over 4 divided by the natural log of 1 over 4. There you go. And this is for x less than 0, this is for x greater than 0. The only difference is that this one has two minus signs here, and this one has no minus sign. Never stop learning. If those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.